Welcome back to my channel. I'm Letters for Life, where I encourage people through handwritten letters of encouragement. Today, honey, baby, we about to be talking about how to slay in uniform. Yes. Disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. I am no beauty guru. I don't know how to melt the lace. I don't know how to do the got to be glue, but I do know how to slay this headband wig. So if you're interested, please like, share, and subscribe, and let's go ahead and hop into the video mm. ah. this is the headband wig that i purchased y'all yes off of amazon i'm gonna make sure that i leave the link down below now i've had this wig for two months if you have heard about my natural hair horror story about why my hair was stagnant for six months you already know i'm on this six month protective style journey where i only wear wigs and also i wear hair scarves so like i said this is the unit, now she, baby, she is bouncy, honey. She is curly, and she is giving me all types of vibes right here. On the inside part, it does come with combs. There's one in the front, two on the side, and then there's also one in the back. So there's four combs in total. So underneath my scarf, um, I just have on my wig cap, and my hair is in cornrows. Um, and so that is all really that I have going on. And so like I said, my cornrows, I think I have like six jumbo braids. I wash my hair, I condition my hair, I deep condition my hair in these braids. I take really good care of my hair. I also do my rice water treatment and my scalp treatment. Braids, if you look at my edges, the braids don't start right here. I do my braids kind of loose. I don't like tight braids. I don't even know how to braid that tight anyway, so it just kind of worked out for myself. But when I'm doing my braids, you can tell this is kind of where my braids start up, and this is also where I place the wig cap, and I'm gonna show you the reason for me doing it. Let's go ahead and put on the wig. So the first thing is, what I like to do is, there's a clip right here. All you do is just push that in. And here you can do these two little clips if you want to, but for me, I got a big old peanut-shaped head, honey. And when I put them two clips on with this clip, it's just too tight for me, baby. I just can't do it, I just cannot do it. So it's just too much for me, so I only use this top clip. Now this is the head, man. All you do is literally push it under underneath the wig, and that's it, and it's secured. Now, there is a back clip. I'm going to tuck that in underneath, underneath all of that. That's it. So right then and there, I only have two clips in my hair, and look at how seamless it looks, right? So if you're looking at it, you're like, girl, that look good. That look good already. But let me show you how to make it look even better. So this type of hair is definitely very, very close to my natural hair. My hair is also the same type of length. I think my hair actually is maybe a little bit longer. But look at how beautiful these curls look. And I, listen, the only thing I have on this hair is water. I, have, I don't put no product on it. When I first got it, I washed it and conditioned it. But there is no product in this hair. There's no mousse. There's no gel. Nothing in this hair. And look at how the curls are popping. Okay? So, if you're not in the military, I'm just going to go ahead and do what I do first. And then we can hop into how I slay it in uniform. So, the first thing I do is... I pushed this back. So I saw one girl in uniform. Y'all, she had the headband wig like this. And I was like, girl, you need to push the thing back. Why does it look like this? This looks so wiggish. And you can start to see the tracks. Like, that's just so, that's so unattractive. <laughs> I wanted to tell her, like, girl, you need some help. You want me to help you? But she was looking like she had a bad day. And I was not about to even deal with it. So this is the trick, y'all. You push the headband wig back. And the headband you're going to fold it over. So what that does is it creates a flat surface and it doesn't look like it's like, you know that little hump? It gets rid of the hump. So let me show you again. I get the headband wig and all you do is fold it over your hair. Hold on. You fold it over the hair and it looks like it's literally growing out of your scalp because you have natural hair showing right here. See how flat it lays now versus that huge hump it had? Like it lays like so beautifully compared to how it was looking. Like you can't even see the tracks no more because the headband covers it. Now, say for instance you have cornrows like myself and you see how you can kind of see like the cornrows like little lines so what I do to get rid of that my edges are kind of somewhat laid but not really laid and so you can go ahead and lay your edges however you like to lay them I'm really like not gonna focus on it right now but say for instance I was doing something and I wanted to lay my edges now another thing that you can do 
all I do is get my toothbrush and I brush the hair back. You see how it's getting rid of those like marks of the cornrows? What you do is literally you just brushing your hair flat and look at that. Oh, baby, this is my hair. <laughs> This is my hair. You cannot tell me this ain't my hair, y'all. Look at how natural it looks. And the reason why, like I said, the key to this is you cannot start your cornrows right here on your scalp. Start your cornrows like a little bit back. Brush your hair in to get rid of those little cornrow, little, um, you can see like where the cornrows start. Lay your hairs. If you're not into baby hairs, you don't even have to do that. All you have to do is just make sure that they cannot see the cornrow marks that is the biggest thing do not start your cornrows right here at the top baby look at how good it look y'all baby and if you into it another thing that i really like to do is just put a little bit of water at the top and that just kind of gets rid of like those flyaways i like big hair so if you wanted the hair to be a little bit more defined all you have to do is put in a little bit more water and let me just show you. So say for instance, you like really tight, coily hair. You're not really into the big hair thing. The wet look is your favorite. You can do it just like that. And the hair will be a little bit more, like I said, defined versus the back part where it's a little bit more poofy. I like poofy hair, but that's all you need to do is just add water. And that's all I've done to this unit is just add water to it. And look at how bomb it look, baby baby listen now they do so when it when you originally get it like i said i did wash it and condition it it did come with two other headbands these are the headbands this is the first one super cute and then this is also the second one and i actually i think i had this on the other day and this one is super cute as well so both of them are bomb you don't get a choice in which ones they give you but these are so amazing if you wanted to just wear them you know on the weekends or whatever so for my military members let me show you how you can wear it in uniform so everything that i said you do on the edges that's you just keep that the same then what you can do is you get your scrunchie and literally y'all and all i do is just make a bun with it literally that's it i like the messy bun look some people are really kind of into it. it has to be neat and it has to be a donut look but for me this is the look that i usually go with 90% of the time while I'm in uniform and I'm wearing this wig, this is what I wear. It's so freaking adorable in uniform. And so many people would be like, oh my gosh, I ain't, your hair looks so good like that. Your hair looks so good. They be telling me that all the time in my job. I'll be like, y'all don't even know this wig. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know. And so once you do that, now while you're in uniform, another thing that I've noticed is when you're taking off your cap and you're putting your cap on, Sometimes this, like where the tracks start right here, it can become a little bit like frizzy. And so, like I said, I do spray a little bit of water on that. You can put on your scarf. And when you put on your scarf, um, and you let it sit for like 10 to 15 minutes, literally your hair is going to be flat. It's going to be so easy to manage. And it literally, it's nothing to it. It literally takes me two minutes to put it on, take it off. Like it's so easy. And then like, say for instance, it's Friday and you're ready to go. You got plans for the weekend. All you got to do is take it out the bun, shake it a little bit, give it a little papoon, papoon. Maybe you need to add a little water to it to get out the wrinkles of having it in a bun. And baby, you ready for the weekend. Listen, it's a two for one swap, y'all. It's a two for one. You hear me when I'm telling you? If I can do this, and like I said, I didn't melt no glue. I didn't mess up my edges. I didn't do anything. All you have to do is corn roll your hair underneath there and put on your wig cap and go. It's so easy. It's nothing to it, y'all. And it's so soft and bouncy. Like, this unit is a may if you need encouragement or you know somebody else who may need encouragement, please write into my foundation, www.lettersforlife.net, where I encourage people through handwritten letters of encouragement. As always, I love you, but most importantly, though, most importantly, God loves you. I will see y'all on my next video. Peace. I dream about it. I go get it. That's how I do it. Not in the stars. I'm not lucky. I just.